Alright, here's a quick tip whenever you're adding or subtracting thirds. Now notice for this question, we've got root 2. This is the simplest third that we have. And so what you want to do is see if 50 and 98 also go into 2. And it does. 25 times 2 is equal to 50, and 49 times 2 is equal to 98. And 25 and 49 are both perfect square factors. And so simplifying this, you can write this as the square root of 2 plus the square root of 25 times 2, and then plus the square root of 49 times 2. Now because both of these two numbers are perfect squares, what you can do is take the square root of those numbers and bring it outside the square root sign. And so you can rewrite this as the square root of 2 plus the square root of 25 is 5, and we bring it outside, and so this is 5 root 2, and then we've got plus the square root of 49 is 7, and we bring it outside, and so this is 7 root 2. You see how this makes it all root 2 inside, and so now we've got matching square roots. We can just add these. 1 plus 5 plus 7 is equal to 13, and so this is equal to 13 root 2. Now if you're just starting to learn about thirds, then get yourself a copy of this book. Because there's a whole chapter on thirds, and everything is explained in simple terms, and there's heaps of examples that you can follow through to learn exactly how it's done.